And speaking of dissident clergy, it's controversy after controversy with the German bishop's so-called synodal way. The latest ruckus stems from an upcoming presentation that cites an author connected to pedophilia. Church Militant's William Mahoney looks into the war brewing between a parents' association and the German bishops. Viewer, di viewer discretion is advised. Wie wird man eigentlich Bischof? Ja, in an open letter last Wednesday to the German Bishops' Conference, EV, a voluntary association of parents, called on the bishops to discard a position paper that cites Uwe Zilat. Zilat is a retired professor who was preoccupied with sexual pedagogy and sexual education, co-authoring books like Sexuality and Gender in an Immigration Country. The retired German professor is known mostly for postulating that, in his own words, heterosexuality, nuclear family, and generativity are to be denaturalized. And he pushes for children to engage in sexual exploration, as evidenced in his book, Lisa und Jan, replete with graphic illustrations of children doing just that. The German Association of Parents thus notes, this form of sexual education is clearly a pedophile approach. The parents also spotlight Zilert's connection to the pedo criminal, Helmut Kentler, whose theories shaped Zilert's thinking and whom, in fact, Zilert calls a fatherly friend. An interesting designation considering one of Kentler's books, Lone Fathers, Children Need Fathers. In that book, Kentler openly wrote about how he deliberately sent children to pedophiles he knew as part of his experimentation. While groups like the Humanist Union paid tribute to Kentler upon his death, most commentators explained Kentler's research was a ruse to provide a network of pedophiles with children. Kentler was part of a huge network of pedophile lobbyists homosexuals, left-wing parties, children's rights groups, and sexologists, who permitted and justified the organized abuse of children and adolescents for decades. But despite all this, the German Bishops' Conference is defending its position paper that cites Zilert, claiming Zilert distanced himself from Kentler a long time ago. The 16-page paper is slated for presentation at a forum called Living in Successful Relationships. That forum is part of the German church's so-called synodal way, an effort to undermine immutable church teaching on a slew of topics from women's ordination to homosexuality. Whether Zilert distanced himself from Kentler or not is irrelevant. Zilert's own work contradicts church teaching plenty. With this latest battle over citing pedophile-friendly authors, one wonders what's at the end of the synodal way. William Mahoney, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. It's absolutely diabolical. This comes as the German church is reeling over the Vatican's rejection of blessing same-sex couples with many clergy blessing the unions in public defiance. 